guys, welcome back. This is Lena. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing really well. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you everything about Optan and why it's good for your skin, and two products which are really good for your skin, which has Optan in it. So let's start. Optan. Optan is uh, this powder uh, which has these amazing ingredients which has like basin your saffron turmeric in ayurveda that's called optan and we usually use it during like shaadi ke time pe haldi ke time pe so you can see you know the next day your the bride's face is so nice and glowing so optan is really really good for your skin you must have heard your mom grandma they keep saying ki optan lagao it's good so i have these two uh, products which has optan in it and there are no harmful chemicals so it's perfect for your skin and uh, the first one is then to then this face wash by mama earth so it's their optan face wash it has uh, turmeric and saffron so this is good for tan removal if you've like tan because it's summer now you know you're about to like tan so it's good for your skin uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to use it and show it to you so just rinse your face and then you take a little bit of this face wash acche se apply it on your face so it has like this walnut beads also so it's really good for like exfoliating also so it will get rid of all your dead skin it will remove tan So once you've done this, just rinse your face, and then I'll show you my next product. So I've rinsed my face, and you can see that instant glow. You know, after washing my face with this face wash, I can see the difference. Can you? So moving on to my next product. So guys, this is my next product. It's by Mama Earth again. It's their Optan face mask. So this has turmeric, saffron, and apricot oil. I'm gonna apply it to you and apply and show it to you. So here we go. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. Guys, this smells really good, and it's, it has that thanda thanda wala feeling once you apply it on your face. You all know that uh, Mama products are like paraben free and silicon free, and this has uh, turmeric and saffron. Turmeric is really good; it slows down your aging process. Good, you know, it's really good. It protects you from the sun damage and all of that, and gives you a nice glow. Saffron, so we all know, it gives you that nice glow, and you know, it's also it also helps in like blood circulation of your face when you apply it. and it gives it a really cool and calm feeling so i'm done with applying my face pack and i'm going to just let this stay for about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it off and i have a little surprise i have a special coupon code uh, where you get like 20% discount if you use my code my code is gauda2021 so you can just go to mama earth dot in and you can get your Uh, mama products and you will get discount and also uh, mama earth uh, they have released their goodness calendar on earth day where you get to know that they planted about one lakh trees then 1135 metric ton of plastic has been recycled and uh, you know they distributed like 50000 sanitizers and about 20000 masks to like covid heroes and mama earth is an indian brand it's doing so well and um, they're really good guys so you should go get mama products and uh, get a discount also using my code and i'll put the link down below from where all you can get mama products and they also have the app now so it's uh, it's for both ios and uh, android and also uh, if you get the app you will get a chance for early access for like these discounts you know so you get like special discount and go get your product now and comment in the section below to ask me any questions if you have and follow me on instagram my instagram account is zina gore official thank you so much for watching guys Hey guys, welcome back. This is Lena. How are you guys doing? So I was just about to oil my hair, and then I thought, why don't I make a video? And you know, you'll see me oiling my hair, and I'll give you a few tips on 
how to oil your hair, so let's start. So a lot of us do hate oiling our hair. I know it's a task and you know, if the oiliness lagna, jumpy karna, it can get boring. But it's really, really important to oil your hair if you want good and healthy hair. So firstly, oil your hair twice a week. It's really good uh, if you have time. If you don't have time, okay, once a week is fine. And uh, make sure that you take a nice oil. You can either use almond oil or coconut oil. I use coconut oil for my hair, it works for me. So now I'm gonna show you how to oil your hair. So, so first thing is, make sure that your hair is not wet, okay? It needs to be dry. So, yeah, just take your hair, brush your hair first, like really well, and then you take your oil. So here I have my coconut oil, and what I've done is uh, I just warmed it a little. Uh, so make sure it's a little warm, and you can use, as I told you, almond oil or coconut oil. Uh, I'm using um, uh, coconut oil here. So just take a little bit of oil, uh, make sure it's warm, it's, it'll give you like a nice jumpy if it's warm. So, start applying your oil. So one very important tip is oil is for your scalp. So it's not for literally like your pura hair or not. So make sure that you put oil onto your scalp very well and then you massage it. So guys, this part is very important. You must have seen your dadi, nani, your mom putting oil here. Here it is very important. Just put it and just rub it. It feels so good. Okay. And make sure that you apply oil here also on the back side of your hair. Apply apply it all over and massage it really well for like 10 to 15 minutes if you have time. Guys, once you've done with the massage, just take a little bit whatever extra oil you have, just rub it here, ends there, because your hair, like the ends get really dry. That's it. And just tie it into a nice bun or you can also do like a choti. And very, very important tip is please don't uh, brush your hair after you've applied oil. It'll just break your hair, so don't do that. Um, bun, may I say, just put it into a bun and leave it for two hours. Uh, if you have the time, if you can leave it like overnight and wash it next day morning, nothing like it, that'll be great. So do that. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a towel or you can take a nice cotton t-shirt dip it into like hot water squeeze out the excess water and just put it wrap around wrap it around your head for 10 to 15 minutes so i'm just gonna go that i'll just get my t-shirt so here's t-shirt i'm just gonna i may look funny so i'm just gonna do this wrap it around and just keep it like that for 10 to 15 minutes and just relax so that's it guys, uh, I left it for like 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna wash my hair in the morning, so do that, at least keep uh, the oil for about 2 hours, not less than that. And make sure your hair is clean and dry when you're applying oil and uh, very very important, don't keep your uh, oil for more than a day, it's not good for your hair, so one day max. And use a nice mild shampoo and a conditioner when you wash your hair. And uh, do follow these tips and let me know if it was helpful and if you follow these. And uh, comment and let me know. And also follow me on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram account is Lena Gouda Official. If there's anything, guys, do let me know in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you like this video. Okay. Bye. Thank you. 
guys, welcome back. This is Reena. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing really, really well. So I just showered. I was just about to get ready, and I thought, why don't I show you like my day-to-day -day skincare routine and like my basic makeup? Because it's just basic. Uh, this is mostly like my lockdown makeup, uh, but still, I you know. Once you get up, you get ready. You feel like uh, just putting a little bit of makeup, not much, but I like to do my brows and do my uh, lashes. I just like to put some mascara and you know some lipstick. So uh, I'm gonna show you my skincare, morning skincare routine, and then how I get ready for a basic, basic day. So let's start. the first step obviously is washing her face and the face wash that I use is this. This is the Dermavive Hydra Cleanser. It doesn't have any soap in it so it's basically soap free and you know it doesn't have any fragrance, no parabens, no SLS, all these things and if you're like really confused, if you don't know like you know what's your skin type and if you have like sensitive skin, you know sometimes you just get confused, sometimes it's oily, sometimes it's dry. This is the best face wash for you. Uh, so I've been using it for a while and uh, I'm going to use it now and I'm going to show it to you. So uh, mostly I like things with a lot of fragrance because you know it gives a nice smell and of course you like to smell good. But if there's no fragrance means it doesn't have any harsh chemicals so that's the most important thing. So I'm going to wash my face now. So I've taken about so much of face wash. So just because it's like kind of soap free, it's a jhag nahi aayenge, okay? <laughs> so if you're wondering ki yaar itna sara bo laga liya face wash, unko jhag hi diya raha. So <laughs> that's the reason why. I'm done with this. Just splash some water and remove this. So I'm done with washing my face. When I said this doesn't have any fragrance, doesn't mean it smells bad or anything. It has like colloidal oatmeal, then glycerin, all these things, which is pleasant, okay? So there's no like artificial fragrance, but it smells good. So, done with that. Now I'm gonna apply a nice moisturizer, obviously to moisturize and hydrate my skin. If you can see my feet, your skin already feels like so fresh. I mean, can you guys see it? I feel so fresh. Um, so now I'm moving on to my uh, moisturizer. What I use, it's called Nutriderm. It's their moisturizing lotion. And this has vitamin E, so it really nourishes your skin. And you won't feel your skin like too dry or too oily. It just hydrates your skin properly. Okay, so I'm gonna use about so much. This is good enough. So just massage your skin really well. Don't forget your neck. This is also really good. I like this product doesn't make my skin too greasy or oily or anything. I'm done with applying the moisturizer and this also calms your like burnt skin because if you have like sunburn or anything and uh, really nourishes your skin as I told you. One very important step is I forgot to tell you that you can use a toner after your face wash. You can use any toner of your choice and uh, what I use uh, this is what I do at night. I use rose water. I don't use any ke any chemical toners. So once I've done that, just because it's daytime and even if you're not going out, uh, it's very very important to apply sunscreen. And the sunscreen that I use is by La Shield. And this is my regular sunscreen. It works for me, and uh, it's really good. So this is SPF 40, which is good enough. I'm done with prepping my skin. I'm just gonna do like a very very simple makeup. Just going to do my brows real quick. So I'm done with my brows. I'll just put some mascara. So done with my mascara. I'll just apply some lip balm. 
and then my lipstick. Same lipstick here on the cheeks. So, guys, I'm ready. And uh, if you want to know from where you want to get these products, I'll put the link down below and you can just ask me anything in the comment section below uh, makeup related skincare whatever and uh, follow me on instagram my instagram account is lena Garda official and don't forget to like this video thanks so much for watching guys bye hey guys welcome back this is lena how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing really well so in today's video we're going to try something different it's the uh, tissue paper eyeshadow uh, hack and I saw this on, uh, on YouTube and TikTok. Uh, I saw some person do it and I thought, Ari, this is really cool, we should try it. And also because it's Pride Month now, so we're going to do this rainbowy kind of an eyeshadow look. I'm going to try this, so let's try it. And please excuse my hair, I'm just having a bad hair day. So, whatever, lockdown hair, parlor band hair. <laughs> excuse my hair. Anyway, we're going to start now, yay! So as you can see, I've already done my base, uh, everything from my brows to like blush and everything, everything's done. Uh, for my eyelids, uh, I'm going to take a, a light foundation or you can take any concealer also and just put it on your eyelids so that the eyeshadow color will be like really nice and bright. You can use like an uh, eyelid primer also. So this is what I'm taking. This is by Forever 21. So this shade is FLF011. Okay. This is really really light. Almost like whitish. Like a lot light. So I'll just use this first. take my beauty blender and just blend it you say so that there are no lines or anything so once this is done uh, we'll move on to the eyeshadow so just take your tissue paper crumble it like this and then okay so we'll just take like essay this part and just put the eyeshadow so the eyeshadow palette that I'll be using today is by Makeup Revolution and this is the Maxi Reloaded palette. It's really fancy and has almost all the colors possible. So before I put my eyeshadow, I'm just taking loose powder. This is by Maybelline. This is the Fit Me one. So I'll just place it under my eyes so that there are no fallouts. So I know I look like a complete fool, but it's okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my eyeshadow palette. And then let's do this. So I'm not using the same tissue, I'm using another one, okay. Just crumble it. Up here, purple kibari here. I think it's kinda cool. Like it. This color glow stamp like all. <laughs> okay, that was purple. Now red. But because I have a little more space, so I think I'll put green and then red and then yellow. Take it though. Green. So 
so it's time for red. Now it's time for yellow. So done with my eyeshadow, this is what it looks like. Let me just put some mascara and then I'll show you this complete look. So this is my complete look. Okay, I'll come close and show you. Tell me if you liked it. I mean, please comment and let me know if you like this look. Yes, no. Uh, if you are in the mood of doing something experimental, you want to have fun, then you should try this. I don't know if I'll like go out with this. I feel like you know, but chale na se kuch color laga diya ya holi khel gaya hu. I don't know, uh, but y'all tell me. Acha laga nahi laga. Experiment mera kaisa tha? And uh, if there's any more questions, anything, do let me know in the comment section below. And happy Pride Month, and I'll see you soon, guys. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Lena. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing really well. So you must be thinking, what are you already doing with like the so much makeup? Aren't you filming a makeup look? No guys, I am not. In today's video, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, how to get unready, like how to remove your makeup and I'm going to show you a few products that I use and how to take care of your skin after you removed your makeup. It's really, really important. So let's start now. So the first product is obviously makeup remover, makeup cleanser and I use something called like a balm which is really good, removes your makeup completely and this is the product. So this is the MI uh, Fashion Makeup Remover Balm, so I'll show you the consistency, it's like this. All you have to do is take a little bit of product, massage it onto your palms. Okay, I just showed you. So here, and then you remove your makeup. It comes out like very, very easily. Just apply it all over your face. You can like rub it onto your palms. It will melt, and then just apply it everywhere. So after I have applied the balm, I take this. This is like a cleansing sponge. Uh, so it's called clean sponge. And uh, you can just like uh, take any liquid makeup remover also. And you know your makeup will come out. So I'll show it to you now. more uh, kajal left so I'm going to take that balm again rub it and just remove my mascara and eyeliner You can see almost like 80% of my makeup is out. I've removed it. Moving on to my next product. And my next product is obviously a face wash. And for that I use this. So this is the Derma Vive Hydro Cleanser. It's really good for sensitive skin. And you know it has like natural collodial oatmeal. So this is SLS free. It's uh, you know soap free. Doesn't have any fragrance. It's paraben free. So it's really good. This really worked for my skin. So all you have to do is shake it really well. And then you. So my next product is this. 
So this is the Nutriderm Moisturizing Lotion. Uh, this has really worked for me. I have dry skin, you guys know that, but I don't want something which makes my skin like really greasy, okay? So this is good for all skin type, I think. It's amazing, worked for me as I told you. And I apply it before I apply my sunscreen in the morning. And I also apply it at night before going to bed. So it has like antioxidants also, which will, you know, help me like in anti-aging. So, I'm gonna apply this. Just take this much product, rub it, and apply it on your skin. But it's really important to like use a moisturizer or something after you've removed your makeup because like you you use a makeup remover, then you use a cleanser. So it's very important to hydrate your skin and always remember that you know people a lot of people do this mistake they just move their makeup with like a makeup remover and then just go to bed please don't do that use a face wash to move your makeup completely and then you go to bed it's really important so that's it guys if you have any more questions do let me know in the comment section below and follow me on instagram my instagram account is lena Gada official and we'll be doing some fun makeup looks really really soon uh, so keep watching see you soon bye hey guys welcome back this is lena how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing really well Today's topic is a bit different. Uh, you know, a lot of people have messaged me. They were asking me, Ki kya hota hai? It is oil pulling. A few months back, Anushka Sharma had posted this you know, oil pulling wala technique on Instagram. And then I started getting a lot of messages. Uh, you follow Ayurveda, so I'm, I'm sure you know Ki kya hota hai? and is it good. So, yes, uh, it's really good for your, your oral health and also for your skin. And I'm going to talk about it more. So, let's start. oil pulling. Oil pulling is an ancient practice, you know, people used to do it Ayurvedic practice uh, earlier and it's really good. Uh, Ayurveda has a lot of benefits and uh, my grandparents used to do this. I used to think that I oil I don't want to do that. But I've read so much about it and all the benefits. Uh, so I thought, yes, I have to try it. So initially you do it for 10 minutes because 20 minutes of Sena Yoga. So starting few days, you do it for 10 minutes. What you have to do is you have to take uh, oil. So you take about one tablespoon of oil, about this much. So you can use coconut oil or sesame oil as I told you. Uh, what I do usually, I use sesame oil for a week and next week I use coconut oil. And uh, you just take this oil, put it in your mouth and start squishing. Okay, so you go left, right. Okay, revolve it around your tongue. It's a really good exercise for your jaw also. Okay, and then you do this chewing thing. Once you've done that, try to gargle it also. Sit it not till you get Do this for 10 minutes continuously and then you spit it out. Make sure that you spit it out completely. Then rinse your mouth with warm water and uh, then you can brush also. Uh, make sure that you don't use any chemical, you know. Uh, use something which is like herbal or Ayurvedic uh, toothpaste and then you rinse your mouth really really well brush and uh, sorry that bird is a bit annoying <laughs> please chip it up okay thank you so uh, once you've done that you can continue with your day uh, how many times are you supposed to do it do it uh, every day if you want to see results and this is good for your throat, it's good for your gums, um, it's also good for your skin, okay. Uh, it'll improve your complexion, that's what I've heard. And um, you know, it'll get rid of uh, so many diseases. So it's really, really good. It's so simple, all you have to do is just take some oil and do this for 10 minutes, uh, 20 minutes if you can. Uh, what you can also do is when you're, you know, blow drying your hair, you can do this. 
or when you are just you know uh, taking bath or washing your hair karte jaoge so it will save time and you won't get bored and you will want like sit in one place and keep doing this so there are a lot of benefits to try this i didn't do it right now because i've already done it in the morning and uh, i'm about to film a few more videos so i can do do this in short you so i've explained it how to do it try this and let me know in the comment section below and if you have any more questions do let me know and uh, follow me on instagram my instagram account is lena gaga official and i will see you soon guys thanks so much for watching bye hey guys welcome back to lena how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing really well so in today's video i'm going to show you a makeup for like dry skin and uh, this is going to be like a really glass skin slash glowy skin makeup so you know it's going to make your skin look fresh and healthy and a little bit shiny also like the glass skin effect so let's start now is face wash it's very important that you use a nice face wash and for this I'll be using this product it's the derma vibe hydra cleanser so this is really good for my skin you must have seen it in a lot of my videos I've been using it a lot Uh, so this face wash doesn't like dry your skin completely, uh, you know, and it has collodial oatmeal. It protects your skin and you know doesn't make your skin really dry, and your health, your skin looks really hydrated and healthy. So I'm gonna wash my face with this now. Make sure you shake it well before you use it. I have washed my face now. It already feels so fresh, and I also wore my contacts. Moving on to my next product. So, uh, to hydrate your skin and your to make your skin look really healthy, it's very important to use a nice moisturizer. And for that, I'll be using this today. It's by Nutriderm. So this is the Nutriderm moisturizing lotion. It has vitamin E. Again, you've seen me apply this also. This is what I use regularly, and it's really good. It's good for all skin types, and you know that there are no parabens, no chemicals or anything like that. So you can use this daily. Now you can use it um, during the day or at night also. Put the link down below from where you can get these products. So once that's done, uh, because it's daytime now, I'm going to be using my sunscreen uh, again. Very very important to use sunscreen during the day, and this is the sunscreen that I use. This is the La Shield sunscreen. It has SPF 40. and this also makes my skin look really nice and healthy and it protects me from the sun which is very important once that's done it's very important to apply primer and this is what i use during the day this is the nyx jumi up primer and if i'm going out in the evening this is what i use this is the wet n wild primer it gives you that really nice sheen you know that dewy effect I'll be using this because it's day. And it's very important to choose the right foundation if you want the dewy skin. So this is by Bobbi Brown that I'll be using today. So this also has like SPF 15. Let me tell you my shade. It's Golden Natural 4.75. So I'm just gonna take this foundation. And with that, I like to mix this. This is the Forever 52 foundation. This is FLF 014. This is also really good. So I like to mix these two foundation and then apply it. Use a sponge, a uh, nice sponge to 
use the foundation. Make sure you use a damp sponge. So another tip is don't apply too much foundation first. Just start with just one layer. Blend it really well because you don't want your makeup to look too cakey. So you can see that I've just applied one layer, not gone too much of the foundation because I want my skin to look really nice and fresh. Or too much foundation will just make your face look very cakey. You don't want that. So once that's done, uh, I'm gonna take a nice concealer. I'm gonna conceal my under eyes and you know, this. I don't know if it's a pimple or it's a mosquito bite. I really don't know. I'm confused. So let's hide that. This is the Huda Beauty Concealer. It's called the Overachiever. And my shade is Granola 18N. I'm gonna take my brush, just take a little bit of concealer, very little and conceal my under eyes. You have to do it quickly because this dries up like really fast. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend this. So that's also done. Uh, now I'm going to be using a really nice blush to, you know, again, give that dewy effect. Um, so the blush that I'll be using is by NARS. This is their blush. It's a nice pink blush. It has a little bit of shimmer also because we want a dewy effect. So I'm just going to take my blush and go right here. See, you can actually see that glow. Then we'll also be using a nice highlighter. I'm not going too much because it's daytime makeup. Can you see the glow? The highlighter that I'll be using today is by Kylie. So this is the pressed illuminating powder, Ice Me Out. Looks like this. Just gonna take a little bit and remove the excess. Right, right here. See that? I'm gonna go over my nose here at the bridge. really nice and highlighted once you've done that just take your beauty blender and press it looks neat so I'm just gonna complete this look with some eyeshadow and then I'm gonna do my brows then a little bit of mascara and lipstick and be right back guys done with my brows done with my eyeshadow and everything now I'm moving on to my lips. Uh, I want my lips to look nice and glossy because it will look like really good with the dewy makeup. So I'm gonna use a lip balm first. I'm just using Vaseline. And then I'm gonna apply my lipstick. So I'm gonna combine two lipsticks. Uh, I'm gonna use this one. It's by YSL. And then uh, this is by Beauty Creation. So this is a matte one, uh, but I don't want it to look too matte, so I've applied my lip balm. So I'll go with this one first and see. It's good, but I want something to like just really pop. So this one is, I told you it's by Beauty Creation. Then I'll go with the Vicel one again. I 
I am almost ready. Last step is the fixing spray. This one's by MAC. It's the MAC uh, Mineralize. And uh, this is really good. It gives it a nice glow and it will set your makeup. my complete look looks nice and glowy and fresh and I quite like this look uh, you can also use a loose powder underneath your eyes uh, you know if it's creasing a little bit I'm quite happy with this look uh, you can comment down below and let me know if you liked it and if there are any questions that you want me to answer you can do that and uh, follow me on Instagram my Instagram account is Lena Garda official and I will see you soon guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. How to get rid of acne? This is the most common question that I've been asked and you know a lot of you guys keep DMing me, asking me ki how to get rid of acne, I have acne, please help me. So I have the perfect solution for you guys. So uh, today I'm going to show you two ingredients, just, you just have to mix it, apply it onto your face and your acne will literally go in like just two to three days. So I will tell you why you get acne. Acne is because you know of clogged pores or if you have excess oil on your face or dust or because if you're traveling or anything, also it could be because of dandruff. So if you guys are just like you know in your teens and if you get acne, it's normal okay, everybody gets it. But I know you all don't like it. So for that you will need neem oil and aloe vera gel. So guys, neem oil uh, gets rid of acne and people who have acne should apply this. Uh, make sure that you do a patch test on your neck or something. See if it works for you. Some people are allergic to it. So I'm giving you a warning. Please do a patch test before you do this. So just take a few drops of neem oil. This is easily available in any medical shop. So I'm just taking very little. I'm going to pour it into my bowl. Just a few drops. I'm going to add aloe vera gel to this. All you have to do is mix it really well. So this is what it looks like. It's a nice brownish uh, sorry, or maybe creamish uh, color. So this looks like your any regular cream. All you have to do is just take a little bit and apply it on your acne. I don't have anything right now so I'm not going to apply this. Uh, but this you all can do you know if you have like acne or there's a spot you want to get rid of that it will work amazingly. So do try this and as I told you do a patch test before before you apply this. It's good for any uh, teenage girls or if you're in your 20s, 30s, no problem, y'all can do it. So if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below and follow me on Instagram, Foxy Makeup Tips and Tutorials and Lina Roda Official. And uh, please like this video if uh, you know these tips have been useful to you and I will see you soon guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hey guys, if you're wondering what am I doing with a spoon, I'm going to show you a really cool hack, a really cool eyeshadow hack using this spoon. So let's start. So I'm going to take this spoon, place it onto my eyelid and just place the eyeshadow here. So for this eyeshadow look, I'm going to use this Huda Beauty eyeshadow. So this is the shade that I'll be using today. Now I'm going to take my spoon, place it onto my eyelid like this and take my brush and just apply the color. So once I'm done that, I'm going to take the same spoon, place it here and then apply the color. So now you can see this really cool hack. I'm going to use my mascara which is from Benefit and this will just complete the look.
so guys this is my complete look it's more like that graphite eyeliner look or you can try it with different colors maybe you can try like purple or you know red or something it'll look really cool so if you're a beginner and if you want to try something really cool you all can definitely do this for people who are like professionals and all this must be like a fun hack that you all could try let me know in the comments if you like this look or no and you can ask me any questions uh, anything in the comments and follow me on instagram my instagram account is lena gowda official and like this video please thank you so much for watching bye guys Hey girls, so have you stopped wearing sleeveless or off shoulder dresses in public because you have dark underarms? Don't worry, I have the perfect solution for you. So let's start now. So dark underarm is not a medical condition. It's because of excessive shaving or you know excess sweating. So this can be cured easily and I have the perfect home remedy for you. So let's start. So we'll need about 2 teaspoons of multani mitti to this i'm going to add some aloe vera gel and now i'm going to add rose water to this about 6 to 7 drops of rose water to make this paste nice and smooth so let's mix this really well so this is what your paste is going to look like not too thick not too thin all you have to do is apply it on your underarms nicely and leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes let it dry completely and then you rinse off with cold water make sure you don't use like hot water or anything so what this is going to do is going to calm your underarm if you have any uh, shaving cuts or anything this will calm it down really nicely and also it will lighten your underarms so do it for about 2 to 3 times a week uh if that's not possible at least in a month do it twice uh, you will definitely see results i hope this tip was really useful for you guys uh, let me know in the comments and follow me on instagram uh, foxy makeup tips and tutorials and also lena gada official i will see you soon guys thank you so much for watching bye Hey guys, welcome back. This is Lena. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. So my today's topic is about neem oil. I know it sounds weird, but neem oil is so good for us in Ayurveda, especially. Uh, neem is like really, really important. It's good for like medicine. It's good for like for our skin. Uh, you know, from the leaves to the bark, everything. Neem tree is the best. and it has a lot of uses so today i'm going to talk about neem oil uh, the uses of neem oil why it's beneficial for us and uh, how you can cure acne with this so let's start so first i'm going to tell you why neem oil is really good for your skin it's really good because it absorbs really quickly so you know it penetrates into your skin really fast so that is really good so if you apply any products with this also it will just go into your skin really quickly and then you know it will heal your skin now i'm going to show you how you can cure acne okay so if you can see i have this little pimple here all you have to do is take some neem or neem oil a few drops so uh this is easily available in any chemist shop okay in any like metal medical shop you can get this so you can take uh your pot or a cotton pad if you want you can remove it but i have to use this so i'm just going to dip it in i'm just going to take this put it on to my acne so leave it for some time you can leave it overnight also uh So what this will do is, uh, you won't see results like instantly. You'll have to wait for like three, four days, and then you know your acne will vanish. I am not kidding. I've tried it, and it's really, really good. Um, another thing is, uh, uh, this is not good for everybody. I mean, it's not suitable for all skin. Very important tip you need to do is please do a patch test before you try this. So just take a little bit on the back of the neck and then just see if you have any irritation or anything because this is really potent. Okay, so it has really good qualities, but then if it doesn't suit your skin, it will be a problem. Okay, moving on to the benefits of neem oil. Okay, so as I told you, it penetrates into your skin really fast, and this is really good for your skin. Uh, it's good for acne. It's good to remove acne scars. It's 
really good so as you know you can just apply it onto your acne or acne scars and then it will go if you don't want to use this uh, neem oil like only the neem oil you can dilute it you can take a little bit of coconut oil and neem oil mix it up and then apply it onto your skin it's amazing for anti-aging uh, okay and uh, it's also good for your skin's you know elasticity it also like kind of brightens your skin because all your acne marks and everything will go so you'll have a, you'll have a nice bright face uh, it's amazing for your hair uh, you know it has these active bacterial active fungal properties you know which will get a of dandruff also which will make your hair really nice and really really healthy so neem oil is the best i think you should definitely keep it uh, for your beauty and for your skin care and uh, try this uh, hack and uh, let me know in the comments if this has worked for you if you have any more questions of course you can ask me in the comment section below and again i'm telling you from where you can get this you can get it from any nearby chemist it's easily available yes it does smell a little weird but abhi skin clear karna padta hai so try it and let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys really soon thanks so much for watching bye guys